Hey guys, welcome back to Little Piece of Adam Farm. This is day 15, and uh, we did get our power back on last night. So, yeah, that's good news for us. Anyhow, I'm sitting here by our debris field here, all the branches. This right here is our golden chain tree. Just rolled right out of the ground. So somehow I gotta get that prop back up. And I did the same thing to my uh, um, butterfly bush down there. I decided they kind of rolled it out of the ground a little bit. So I got to get it propped up. And it should be okay once I get that taken care of. I probably won't do that today because I got a lot of stuff I got to get picked up around here. There's my other butterfly bush down by my gate. You can see that it completely hold it right out of the ground so I'm gonna have to get it propped back up and it should survive all right just that's gonna take a little while to get its roots grow back in the ground and get stabilized again that's what freezing freezing rain will do like I always say you gotta look on the positive side of things even though that ice storm and freezing rain and it was quite devastating. At least we're getting some firewood for the next year. Yeah, look at the positive side. Even though it does destroy your trees. And anyhow, that's Mother Nature for you. Hey guys, I'm here by my greenhouse. I had a potato. One of our potatoes inside the house starting to grow. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant this in this bucket. So we got holes drilled in the bottom so the water can drain out. I'm gonna go ahead and put some soil in here and plant this in this bucket and put it in the greenhouse and, and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to plant this facing up, right there in the middle. Cover that up, up with some soil. <clears throat> there also as it grows I'll put more soil around it until I get it up maybe about an inch below this bucket okay I'm gonna go put this in the greenhouse Okay, I think I'll put this bucket right about here next to this wall to provide some extra heat. And uh, we'll see what happens. See if we'll get some nice potatoes early in the spring. Well, there's the new power pole up with all the wires hooked to it. Once those guys got that taken care of and they went to the other end of our street and fixed their poles, they turned power on, came on sometime late last night well yeah late last night this is day 15. so anyhow 
since the power's been on. I have said it's 84 in the greenhouse right now. It's because the sun's shining, nice clear blue skies. But I have this heater set at 60. Only because, you know, banana tree or banana plant and the uh, blood orange. Yeah, keep them fairly warm. I suppose you could have it set at 50, but I bumped it up to 60, give them a little extra warmth here. But with the sun shining, it has an 84 in here, that heater is not on. That heater probably won't pop on again until late tonight when it cools off a little bit. And again, it may not cool off enough because it's supposed to be in mid 50s tonight. But we do have colder weather coming again. By next weekend, it's supposed to be down in the upper 20s. So winter's not done yet. Anyhow guys, thanks for stopping by checking out this quick little video. Just want to give you an update on our situation and our and that our power didn't get restored. And uh, planting this uh, potato in this five gallon bucket. And we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.